All right. So welcome everyone to uh, season one, episode two of Richie Sales webinar sessions. You have your host today, uh, myself, Kelly Taylor, and my co-host, Jessica Mason. Hey guys, I'm so happy that you are here with us. Like Kelly said, this is our second of many webinars and we're very excited to have you here. Um, and yeah. So as you can see here, uh, Richie Sales, we represent multiple uh, lighting lines uh, in the New Jersey, uh, New York, and Connecticut market. So of course, today we're going to be talking about Hudson Valley, but just be aware, should you have any needs for any of the lines we proudly represent, we are more than happy to uh, chat with you about. So again, just reiterating um, the Richie Sales team, although you're here with Jessica and Kelly today, we do also have uh, Steve Richie, our president of the agency. We have Ryan Higgins and Jeffrey Eisauer, who are head of showroom sales. And we have our amazing Rob Antonikia, who also does showroom alongside builder sales. So we're a very well-rounded agency. Should you have any specific questions, whether it be you know a spec or a design uh, question or you know anything even more on, on the tech side, we're all here to help you. So today we are going to talk about Hudson Valley Lighting Group. So they had some winter 2021 introductions. The majority of the new introductions are Hudson Valley Lighting. Then there also are a handful of Mitzi products um, alongside some, a few Troy items as well that we're gonna be talking about. Um, we're talking about 90% of the new introductions, but I also want to <laughs> remind you um, to take a look at the website when we're finished here. Um, there's a lot of products on here and maybe in different finishes that we might not have photographed on the web webinar, but they are all um, here for you to browse on the, on the website. So, you know, who is Hudson Valley? And I think uh, David Lippman, the founder of Hudson Valley Lighting, you know, said it very poignantly when he said, you know, we design and build beautiful fixtures for people who put quality first, for people who are not willing to trade off that increasingly rare characteristic. You know, I really love that quote from David. I think it really serves as like the foundation of what makes Hudson Valley so unique. It's such a highly sought after product. You know, their products are intended for, you know, the connoisseur, someone who, you know, has style, taste, and an eye for an inherent quality and you know they're never willing to settle uh, for anything less than that you know the quality of the construction is evident and visible in each and every piece of Hudson Valley and I think you're going to see that today in the presentation as we point out the very you know exquisite detail that goes into each and every piece uh, so with that we will get started so we are again going to be talking about the new 21 uh, introductions, which we are very excited about. Uh, as Jessica said, multitude of these uh, are in from the Hudson Valley line. Uh, we do have some new introductions from Mitzi as well and a couple uh, from Troy that we will go over later today as well. I do want to talk about really quick too, before we jump into this, Kel, um, Hudson Valley Lighting and Mitzi are stocked in New York. Now, the majority of you are in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut market. I just want to remind you that this is a very, very unique situation. We are a local resource to you. So that means shipping times, mm -hmm. um, availability. You really should take this to your advantage at the moment, because as you know, you know, with the pandemic, there's a lot of backups and shortages on product or, or shipping mm -hmm. times. So just remember, Hudson Valley, and, and Mitzi are all stocked in Wappingers Falls, New York. So if you're shipping, you know, New York to New York, it, it's virtually mm -hmm. next day shipping at, at no additional cost. And then again, to New Jersey and Connecticut, you're going to mm -hmm. get this product really quickly. Um, and I think that's a, that's a big um, advantage that we have being here on the East Coast. Absolutely. It's a great point that that's a nice local resource. So you're going to notice uh, we have a very high focus uh, this release with Mind Spanish Alabaster. So we're excited to go through the products with you today. You know, this is a natural, elegant material that's been used throughout history as a symbol of elegance, refinement, and sophistication. And you're going to see some fantastic products today where we've really taken alabaster in a new direction with lighting. Uh, you know, the rich and unique veining of pure alabaster, it is a statement, you know, and again, it goes back to that client that is looking for something of true luxury uh, quality in a statement piece. Not only is it, you know, a statement piece, but it provides both a natural beauty and a soft, extraordinary upscale light output, the way that the light diffuses through alabaster. Yeah, so um, here you have a beautiful example, like Kelly said, you know, we have a lot of alabaster in this introduction, and I think it's beautiful. With LED technology, we were really able to repurpose this natural material that might otherwise have been viewed as a, as a negative material, because I don't know if, if most of you are aware, but before LED technology, if alabaster was up against heat, um, it started to turn pink and the coloring started to just discolor. So, you know, now with LED technology being superior to where we were years ago, we really were able to um, bring that back in here. So the Saratoga collection is a beautiful, modern, yet retro um, Sputnik style. I really like the gentle curvatures on the center arms. Um, you have, you know, a beautiful alabaster tip that's illuminated with LED. 
Um, it's just, just a lot of attention to detail. I think that this Sputnik wouldn't have been as unique if we just did, you know, frosted white glass. So I think the alabaster mm -hmm. is a beautiful addition here. We have two sizes, the large one at 51 inches wide and then the smaller size at 36. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of fixture. I mean, 51 inch wide, that's a great statement piece. And I agree that that little element of the of the alabaster really takes it up a notch. It's also important to note too, uh, with this fixture and with our fixtures, you know, we do offer and include uh, stem kits with these. So uh, there's a small note at the bottom, you'll see we include a, a one uh, three inch stem, one six inch stem, one 12 inch stem, and then two 18 inch stems. So you can work, uh, you know, with your clients on your overall height that you'll be needing for your particular occupation. Sorry, Kat. Also, as we go through it, um, I just want to call attention out to the pricing that is on here. All of the mm -hmm. pricing on here is the map pricing. Um, so really, it's the new retail and, and the, what your consumer um, can purchase it for. So at $5,500 for a beautiful 51 inch wide dedicated LED for your fixture um, and, and natural stone alabaster, I think, um, you know, it just makes a little bit more sense when you look at the pricing throughout this presentation. So the Saratoga collection also has a wide variety of sconces. So we have the first sconce over here on the left-hand side that is kind of like, you know, three flowers. Um, this is available in polished nickel as well as aged brass, although it is not photographed. This is a very tall sconce at 27 and a half inches high and 13 and a half inches wide. So I think it would be beautiful alongside a mirror, um, you know, on either side flanking a, f a fireplace. It's just a really, you know, large statement sconce. Then also we have over towards the right hand side, we have some vanity options. The two light wall sconce is 15 and three quarters inches wide, and that can be mounted vertically or horizontally. And then we have a three light option as well at 22 inches that can be mounted vertically or horizontally as well. I really love this piece. It's almost like a, a modern version of like the Hollywood bulb, you know, it's just, it's really taking it to a luxurious level. And I, I can totally see these in a bathroom application. Totally. So Wheatley, uh, Wheatley is just so simple and stunning. You know, this is featuring, again, that gorgeous veined alabaster. But what I love about this particular design is just how simple and, and clean line this is. It's cradled in that very delicate frame. But, and I think that's what makes this piece, honestly, is the frame itself. You know, this is such a perfectly casted frame that has now been polished to a rich luster. You can really appreciate the attention to detail that went into a piece that, yet again, is so simple. But you can see just how rich uh, it is with that attention to detail and that wonderful um, casting detail that you see on uh, on the frame. As you can see, these guys are coming very soon. They're arriving on uh, February 26, which is just a few days away. Uh, so these are readily available for you and your clients, available in a polished nickel or aged brass. And here we have the continuation of the Wheatley collection where we also offer a, a seven inch pendant, uh, semi flushes, as well as an ADA wall sconce. You know, so again, this is something to be considered for a hospitality or commercial application as well. I think that is really important that Kelly pointed out as you go through, you'll notice that, um, you know, the majority of these products are available, although this one is estimated 517, that be it, you know, of course, mm -hmm. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have the Flatbush collection. Um, so the Flatbush collection is an enclosed vessel um, and the illuminating cluster is all enclosed with that alabaster. So when this is illuminated, it's really going to get a lit from within this beautiful glow. Um, it's a different take on a lantern. I think a lot of lanterns are, you know, clear glass or frosted glass where you focus more on the beautiful center cluster in the center of it. Um, but this, the alabaster really is the showstopper um, and all of that beautiful natural gray veining is gonna illuminate. Um, there's on the, there's two different sizes here. So on the 19 inch uh, by 32 and a half inch high, you actually have six medium base sockets in the center. Now, of course, like I said with alabaster before, we wanna, uh, there's limitations with heat. So all of these sockets are rated for only six watts of LED to ensure that your consumer does put a mm -hmm. lower wattage bulb in there. Um, but still, I mean, six medium base, just because it's, mm -hmm. it's LED doesn't mean that you're getting any less illumination. It's just using less energy. So mm -hmm. this is really going to glow and you're going to get a lot of light through that alabaster. Yeah, I agree. I think that's going to be a very stunning glow effect from the center of that piece. Then so next uh, we, we have the... Yep. Port collection. Um, the Eastport collection, so it's kind of a, a an addition, a line extension, sorry. Um, I think, again, when we talk about the LED technology and what it's available, it's allowed us to do in, in lighting, this is a very, very thin pendant at only an inch and a quarter thick. 
So how are we able to create that? Well, in this pendant, we have edgelet technology, which means that there are LED diodes around the perimeter of that ring that is illuminating that alabaster. So you're not gonna get any hot spots. It's not gonna get any speckling effect. It's going to gently, beautifully, very you know, high end illuminate that alabaster. And that is the showstopper of this piece. Um, it is on you know, cables so we can hang things uh, very tight to the ceiling. You can adjust that right on the, on the job site. And then only an inch and a quarter inch high or an inch and a half uh, for the smaller one, you, you can really use this as a big center um, flush mount. You know, it's 36 mm -hmm. inches wide or 24 inches. It's a big, beautiful piece of yeah. alabaster. I love that low profile. You know, the fact that it's, it's so minimalistic in its overall height. Uh, and like you said, you know, you could tuck that right up to a ceiling to make it almost like a very, you know, a, a elongated, large, you know, uh, statement flush mount. But it also to note too that that graphic you see, look how well, you know, Hudson Valley took the care to finish that piece off so nicely on the top. So that way, if it is, you know, lowered or you're going up a stairwell, you know, you're not going to see, you know, any kind of body, you know, uh, installation there. I think that's really an important note that they took the time to make sure that that was such a clean finish look on the top. So Central Park. So Central Park is such a stunning piece. You know, imagine a bathroom with Carrera. You know, this is such a stunning piece. You know, this rectangular minimalistic look. Uh, I think what's important to know here, there's no visible hardware here. This is all fixture. I mean, this is such a statement piece of art. You know, this is something that, again, I think will be, you know, sought after for, for such an elevated look. Uh, very clean, very modern, very refined, and very well lit. Uh, you know, this comes with 18-watt uh, LED. Uh, we have our, looks like, 26-inch high as well as 15 and a quarter inch high, but just a stunning uh, piece of, of, of uh, you know, an introduction that they came out with this year. And again, imagine this with, with Carrera Marble. I mean, it just, it, it's made to go in that type of luxurious you know, material in an application. So Beckler. So I love Beckler. I think Beckler's so cute. I love that it has this beveled metal band detail uh, that you can see there uh, wrapping around uh, the front of the fixture. It's exquisitely polished castings, which also features uh, for the bronze finish, our rich uh, chemical process bronze. And that adds, you know, a very richness and depth to that, uh, to that finish. I also love the unique oval back plate that also shares that beveled design as well. So it just speaks to the level and the quality of the fact that they made sure that they carried that detail all the way through, not just on the, the wrapping, but also on the back plate as well. Hillside Collection. I just, I, I, I mean, I know we're talking a lot about alabaster, but look at this. I mean, these are individual slivers of alabaster. They are individual pieces that are beautifully, you know, formed into, you know, this sconce to, to create that wave-like effect. Um, I love even the, the hardware detail, the beautifully finished, you know, curved um, back plate. I just think that this is going to illuminate beautifully when it's uh, when it's lit. We have two different sizes. We have a 13 and a half inch high um, and we also have a very long one at 24 and a half. I just get this like modern art deco feel. Um, you know, again, Alabaster now allows these sconces to really be like a piece of art instead of just a mm -hmm. source of illumination. Mm -hmm. So I can see these in bathrooms. I can see these again, you know, flanking a mirror, you know, mm -hmm. in, in an entryway. There's just a lot of applications for this. And I think the Alabaster is, you know, just a beautifully take on it with the waves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a, a very unexpected, right? Like you would mm -hmm. never expect totally. to see Alabaster like in this type of shape. James Port. I love little James Port. So half metal, half alabaster, slice cylinder shape with that nice little kind of offset detail. Just a great piece. You know, little scones can go anywhere. There, I think it's just a, a fun, you know, that you can you can utilize in a multitude of applications. Available in age bronze, old bar, I'm sorry, age brass, old bronze, and polished nickel. Again, look at the lead time. It's going to be here in a few more days at four hundred and fifty dollars retail. I think that's a great price. Absolutely. Stern collection. This is amazing. So this is really talking about lighting that does double as art. I mean, look at how uniquely thick that metal work is, you know, and then it has that accenting illuminated box uh, that's offset as well. I think this is a great example of, again, where, where Jessica talked about earlier, you know, Hudson's really looking at not only as a, as a light picture, but as a, you know, a, a piece of art, you know, something that's going to accent your space and, and elevate your overall uh, client's vision. And I think these are just a really nice unexpected shape, but we go back to talking about what sets Hudson Valley apart, and it's the quality of the detail. It's the quality of the alabaster, the choices they've made to offset that alabaster, to have a thicker metal work. I mean, it's all those little details that really elevate this brand and these products. Yeah. 
Yeah. Also ADA compliant. <laughs> Irwin collection. Stunning. Can't say enough. Probably one of my favorites. Sculpted from actual white Carrera marble. Yes. Very unexpected design. Uh, you know, very visually stunning looking at this. Uh, you'll see we have a frosted LED, LED bulb uh, that illuminates within that carved out, uh, you know, cavity and emits a nice soft reflective glow. You're going to notice there's a little hint of color uh, with the metal socket there. I think, again, just a nice little detail, just a little pop of color. You can also mount this uh, horizontally or vertically, but Again, you know, who, who would expect something so stunning and just a very simple, clean design? And I think the choice of materials in this is, is yeah. fascinating and the way that they've carved out that overall shape. Absolutely. And, and they've left it so thick. I mean, that's a thick piece of white mm -hmm. marble. Um, mm -hmm. The amount of material that they had to go through in order to get the right piece. Um, you know, mm -hmm. it's one solid piece of, of marble. I think this is also a perfect example, Kel, to talk about our light bulbs. Um, mm -hmm. So this is a, is a sconce that actually comes with the light bulb. This is a T8 and it is frosted. Um, and we were very purposeful on including a frosted bulb to, you know, keep the glow, you know, really keep the focus on that Carrera marble and not be blinded by a clear glass bulb. Um, I also want to remind you that we do sell light bulbs as well. We are, you know, we sell high-end light bulbs, just like we send, sell high-end light fixtures. Um, so be mindful of that. We really pay a lot of attention um, to the quality of the bulbs as well, because it's very much important um, mm -hmm. to keep the integrity of our fixtures as well. So all of the bulbs can be viewed on our website. Um, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. feel free to reach out to us. But I do want to touch on that as well. Yeah. And I think that's such an important note because so many of our designs, you know, the, the bulb is such an integral part of the design as well. So exactly what Jessica stated, you know, it's 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 a it's a, lux a luxury bulb, you know, yeah. not just, you know, a run run of the mill, you know, hardware store. There's a lot of intent and decision making that's that goes right. behind that. Hawkins. Okay. So yeah, we like this one. We like this one a lot. So Hawkins is very cool. So Hawkins again features that, you know, kind of carved out cavity. If you look at the top right graphic, I love this. It features a very high quality crystal that's been scooped out and carved out and is faceted on the inside to make room for that tubular uh, glass shade. So this baby is going to sparkle and it is uh, an ADA compliant piece as well, uh, available in polished nickel, H brass and the black brass, but just a very, you know, I think visually stunning piece, you know, depending on the type of finish too, you know, again, when we talk about how when you change the finish, you can change the overall feel of a piece. Yeah. I just think that this is another great example of very purposeful, you know, well thought out design. The Orbit Collection. So the Orbit, I'm, I'm sure that none of you are surprised by the name. <laughs> um, this is a very <laughs> geometric and modern statement piece. You get a like a really good sense of movement. I like the gentle bends instead of the 90 degree angles. Um, you have a dedicated LED um, fixture at each end of the bend. Um, behind that um, matte sculpted glass, which I also think is really um, interesting that they chose to do matte glass for this. Mm -hmm. um, this is 56, a little over 56 inches wide. And I think it's important to note the bottom left-hand corner of the under view of the orbit. Now, I think the shot, you know, head on kind of gives the illusion that it might be an elongated fixture, but it actually is round. Um, so I really like, you know, pointing out that it is more symmetrical from the bottom view, but when you're looking at it, it's a lot more organic mm -hmm. um, head on. Then we also have a sconce in the Orbit collection and a smaller hanging pendant at 38 inches wide as well. Huntington. All right, so Jessica and I had the pleasure of actually seeing Huntington in person at the last High Point Market. And, you know, what we love about this piece is there's so much going on for it, but it's also not like distracting. It's meant yeah. to enhance and not distract. Sure. Um, such a great piece. I mean, we've got a, a 60 inch width, you know, going on here, um, you know, with, with these pieces. And I just find it so amazing that you can have such a large piece, but not take away from the overall space or room. It has a powerful light source, a nice milk glass, but really what I think captured me the first time I saw this is obviously when you look at this, that really unique handmade uh, twist chain element. I mean, it's just so unexpected. I've never seen anything like it that well done. And I was instantly drawn to it in the showroom and I, I couldn't stop taking pictures of it. So just a great piece, great detail. Love the combination of the polished nickel and the black and the age old uh, bronze and black as, uh, as well. So we have this available in uh, wall sconce pendant, linear, as well as this nice kind of almost chandelier cluster piece. But 
fabulous collection. Jess and I can't rave about it enough. We got the chance to see it. So we definitely, definitely love this piece. I do, I do want to talk about really quickly too. This is dedicated LED. Um, we do have some other fixtures in the Troy uh, family that have those T10 light bulbs. This, the illumination that you get out of this behind the frosted glass is, it's bright. Um, of course you can, you know, put it on a dimmer, but you are definitely getting light out of it. Um, so I think that's an also an important mm -hmm. thing to do. It, it's, it's illuminated all the way around um, that glass. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting any hot spots. You're not getting a dead spot. Um, mm -hmm. It's illuminating completely 360 around in that glass. Yeah, that's that's such a great note. You know, with, with Hudson Valley products, you're not going to see a lot of that. You know, they, there's a lot of attention to make sure that there's no hot spots and that, you know, nice, smooth, uniform illumination. The Tanner collection. So the Tanner collection, what I want to call out is really the, the size and the scale of these large opal glass um, capped globes. You'll, you'll see on the next page of our individual pendants, but it, it, they're actually very large. So we have the large um, fixture here at 46 and a half inches wide. Um, you know, I love the beautiful detailing of the fact that we carried four center pipes down there just to help you know, with the, the integrity of the fixture and, and overall detail, we could have just put, you know, a single stem or a double stem, um, but really four of them just adds to the overall detail. I love the strong and defined 90 degree angles that you get here on the, on the metal piping. Um, it's just very clean, it's fresh, you know, orbs are still very much around, but this is a very unique take on it. Um, here's the linear Tanner fixture collection, as well as the wall sconce and the beautiful semi-flush. Um, All right. The Slate, Slate Hill. <laughs> Slate Hill collection. So I think the most important thing to note about the Slate Hill collection is that this is actually um, glossy glass. This is not a fabric shade. So um, I love the beautiful elongated S-shaped arms, you know, very, very organic and whimsical. I love the two sconces over on the right-hand mm -hmm. side. I could see those in a beautiful bathroom application. Um, they are, they are not short at 20 inches high, but again, I think a lot of um, you know, people that want a little bit more of a traditional fabric shade mm -hmm. bathroom mm -hmm. were really worrisome of doing that because with the with the humidity and everything, the fabric shade is not a great option. So yeah, it's a beautiful glass option um, that a lot of people are looking mm -hmm. for as well. Yeah, I think it's a great solution for that. Exactly, they want that nice traditional feel, but they don't want to put shades in a bathroom. <laughs> I love it. Bedford mm -hmm. Hills, great piece. I love yeah, I love Bedford Hills. I love the two-tone. I mean, they absolutely nailed it with the beautiful gold detailing and chain. Um, and then, you know, just like the black, the, the diamonds, the rectangles, the beautiful angles, um, everything about this is just so unexpected. Um, I really get a sense of movement. I like the pointed, you know, tips of it. Now there is glass. This is a total glass enclosure fixture, but there is a hinge detail so that you can reach in there and change the bulb. Mm -hmm. um, I also do like the beautifully spacing of the, the candlesticks. You have uh, six of them there. Um, and, and it's just, even the two-tone canopy up there, all the attention to detail, I just think it's stunning. Again, you have, you know, a, a gold loops and, and gold diamond accents around the center body. And then on the next, next page, we have a little bit more. So we have the wall sconce that I think could be beautiful, you know, anchoring a hallway on uh, over two piece or next to a piece of artwork. And mm -hmm. then we have a beautiful lantern at 14 and three quarters wide by 27 high. Again, if you just pay attention to the center body cluster. You see how they mm -hmm. scattered those candlesticks? Mm -hmm. Again, just something that, you know, not everybody would take the time to yep. make sure that all the details are covered. You're gonna get a, a beautiful glow through that glass with the varying heights of, of candles. And you have actually eight candlesticks in there. So you're gonna get mm -hmm. a lot of illumination out there as well. Cat skill. So I'm I'm very excited about cat skill. I really love this modern traditional feel. You know, you've got this gorgeous large cube frame, uh, but then look at the detail of that delicate chain. I mean, look at the scaling comparative to the piece that it's in. I love that purposeful choice to make such a beautiful delicate chain attached to this large cube. I also love the the fact that we have this kind of floating socket look from above. You know, typically you're going to see this, you know, inverted, right? You're going to see the sockets coming up from the bottom. I really love this kind of like droplet effect that they've done here. Um, very modern, uh, as well as even that crisscross top, you know, just all those nice little details, as well as the flat uh, bobesh that you see there uh, beneath the socket. I think that's just great detail uh, available in H brass, H iron and polished nickel. These are on the way, they will be here next month. Uh, but I think these are just gonna be a great addition to you know your lantern offerings. And I love, I just love the interpretation that they've done here. I think yeah. they've done a great job with it. Paxton so collection. Mm -hmm. So it is no surprise that everybody is still ooing and eyeing over the lanterns. 
Um, I know, you know, maybe some of us are a little bit sick of it, but look at what Hudson Valley did. I mean, that black hood is just a mm -hmm. beautiful addition. The gold leafing was very purposeful instead of doing, you know, an aged brass. Um, this is without glass. So it's a great um, price point for the amount of fixture that you're getting. Mm -hmm. um, the linear one is, um, sorry, where's the specs? 48 inches wide. You have, again, six candlesticks. And at $9.90 to your consumer, it's a really yeah, value. Yeah, that's a great price, yeah. That's a great um, price. Two light pocket wall sconce and a smaller lantern at um, 18 inches wide by 29. Again, I, I just, you know, it's light is just going to pour through this without the glass and you're just going to get a beautiful illumination. And even I, if you look yeah. on the underside of the hood, you know, it's all finished in gold leaf, you know, every mm. detail. it's not just left, you know, white, which I think, you know, some of our lesser expensive um, competitors would have just mm -hmm. kind of looked at and not taken care of that detail. I can't wait to see the glow refraction off of that hood, you know, in yeah. person once that's lit. I bet it's absolutely stunning. Nyack collection. So Nyack's an, uh, an addition we have this year. So it's featuring shiny opal glass globes. And of course, the most uh, important detail on this is that perforated black metal caps. Um, we've blown up the detail there so you can see the quality of that perforation. Uh, we talk about, I know we've been talking about it over and over again, but it really is the details that make the difference with Hudson Valley. And, and you look at like even that, um, you know, that, that four light we're looking at here. I mean, look at how they've decided to kind of escalate and, and you know, um, you know, change the different heights of the, the connections there just to give a little bit of intrigue, a little bit of visual difference. You know, I think it's, it's all those choices that really make the difference. So we love this collection. It's available in the four light. We also have a 14 inch diameter pendant down here on the left, as well as a nine inch. So, I mean, 14 inch, that's a pretty yeah. good size pendant. I mean, that's, that's yeah. a nice size pendant. So just, you know, be aware of your scaling and size that you do have avail available with this collection. Yeah. To round out Nyack, we also have the uh, semi-flush mount as well as uh, wall sconce. Howell collection. So this is our modern twist to your traditional wagon wheel. Uh, you can see here it has a signature arch uh, that's creating a very smooth dome-like shape. It's available in a singular or a double and you see the detail there with the nice hook detail. You see again the nice modern flat babeshes there. Just love that. Uh, it's available at aged brass, aged iron, and polished nickel. And these are on the way coming uh, early March. Glendale. So Glendale is a line extension. Um, I'm sure all of you are familiar with our, you know, overly popular center, uh, center hall fixture, larger pendants. We now have a linear option as well as a flush mount. So we've been had a lot of requests for a flush mount in the Glendale collection. Um, we are showing it in the polished nickel and brass. I mean, the polished nickel and black, sorry, but we also have it available in aged brass and black as well. Then we have the Hanes, which is a, a beautiful, you know, diamond-like pendant. Again, there's no glass in there. The chain detail is phenomenal. I love the, you know, the gentle curves of the center body cluster. Mm -hmm. um, I also like that they're showing it with a G16 and a half, those, you know, round globes. It really just changes that, that look, makes it a little bit more modern, um, yet playful. Mm -hmm. uh, so I also like to call it the white plaster this is a textured finish. Um, it's beautiful. It doesn't show very well on this presentation because it's on a white background, but there's a lot of um, depth in that white plaster finish, mm -hmm. um, as well as it's available in gold leaf and aged iron. This is Bowery. So Bowery is a line extension as well. Um, we did have a single tier and um, a double tier, and now we have the large foyer piece, the triple tier in the center. Um, so at 48 inches wide and only 40 inches high, I also want to call out the fact that you're getting a triple tier at a, at a short ceiling height. Um, mm. So the minimum height that you need to hang this is only 45 inches. And the majority of, of large, you know, a 48 inch wide triple tier fixture is oftentimes going to be very, very tall. So over here on the East Coast, I know that we are not... Um, you know, as lucky to have as many tall ceilings. So this is a great option while it being still a very big, robust fixture. Um, you're not, you know, limited, you're, you're not forced into an, a very tall overall height. Mm -hmm. And we love that knurled accent detail as well with that, you know, that blow up shot there on the bottom right. It's hard to see on the, the polished nickel. So we wanted to make sure that you could see the nice detail there as well. 
So Wesley collection. So this is a forged metal sphere. And, you know, what I like to call out here is, you know, look at that delicate inner size cluster, you know, speaking to the quality, you know, I think the fact that, you know, it's, it's such, you know, so well proportioned to the sphere itself and the fact that they chose to go a little bit small, a little bit more delicate, as well as that solid hood and bottom finial, you know, speaks to the design detail and the choices made for this piece. It's very windowless and airy. You've got the nice big hoop and then your chain attaching, but I think just a nice interpretation of a sphere with some very nice, uh, interpretation and details added by Hudson Valley to kind of take it a different direction. Uh, aged iron, gold leaf, and again in that white plaster finish. Lodi. The Lodi. Oh, I was going to say Lodi. 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 Uh, uh, Is it Lodi or Lodi? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll have to, we'll, we'll get back to you guys on that one. <laughs> So this one is, um, this is paying homage to the 1960s. So slightly askew, large glass globes, very playful, very, very bright light, great for a bathroom application. Again, just modernizing that Hollywood, you know, bulb feel. Uh, I just, I love the curvature. I love the way that it's inset in there. Just a great piece to have. I mean, 390 at, at, at IMAP. I mean, that's a great price. Uh, so just know that this is a, this is a piece available to you. And I, I think that it's definitely a nice interpretation of bringing that look uh, forward. And we have um, some more, like we said at the beginning, uh, we don't have everything of the new introductions from Hudson Valley. We have about 90% of them. These are some standalone sconces that we have. The digs, which I think is beautiful, um, kind of like a old mechanic um, light. You're getting that light shining down. It is dedicated LED, um, just a really funky, I love the aged brass. Um, you get the really antique look of that on the finish there. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Dooley, a beautiful two-tone or polished nickel um, wall sconce. Um, and one thing to call out on the Julie is that the width of this is four and a half inches wide. So mm -hmm. um, most gem boxes are a five inch uh, rounds box. So for something like this, this would need to be um, new, con new construction and make sure that you're going to put a switch box um, in the wall back there. It, it will not cover because it's only four and a half inches wide and will not cover a gem box. Mm -hmm. um, then we have the coil on the bottom right hand corner, which again is, is using that alabaster to create some piece of art on the wall. Um, available in age brass as you see it, as well as polished nickel. All right, so we're going to move on to Mitzi, uh, from Hudson Valley to Mitzi. So, um, you know, for those of you who are familiar with Mitzi, you know, Mitzi's a very fun, playful line, a little more friendly price point, um, but not sacrificing on any of the quality. A uh, quick story about Mitzi, you know, this was inspired by the founder of Hudson Valley's grandmother, uh, a painter and a master antique finder. So Mitzi likes to combine, you know, that classic and contemporary, like we said, without sacrificing any quality along the way. So the reason we're able to do this is we'll repurpose a lot of the, um, you know, canopy sizes and, and cords and things that will allow us to have more competitive margins with this, this particular line. But this is a great, very fun line um, for anyone who's not, and we'll get into this later, following them on Instagram, you'll get a very nice vibe from them, very fun, boho, chic um, type feel, but we'll, we'll jump into it and we can look at the, the new pieces. Yeah, I think it's also important, like Kelly said, um, you know, so Mitzi and Hudson Valley are made side by side in the same factories. Mm -hmm. And so the metal quality, the glass quality, it, they're all the same across Hudson and Mitzi. But like Kelly said, you know, Mitzi, we kind of simplify designs where we feel it's it's okay. So, you know, our, our canopies, you, you know, we'll use one mold or, or you know, the tubing on the, on the stems will be all the same diameter. Whereas Hudson, we might, you know, create a canopy very specific to a fixture there. So um, I just very important point that although Mitzi is a hits a lower price point, the quality of all of the material is is exactly mm -hmm. the same as Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So here we have Astoria. So Astoria has been a hit uh, with Mitzi. So they've now expanded this into a linear piece, which I think is quite striking with that many bulbs. 16 lamps cast light up and down, very sleek, very clean. You can kind of get a feel for, you know, whether you put it in the polished chrome or the aged brass. But here we go again with a lot of fixture for your buck. I think this is a great piece. Again, making a lot of traction and waves uh, in the collection. And I think it was smart of them to expand on that with a new linear piece. Ariana. We were saying Ariana Grande all last night when we were going through this. <laughs> so Ariana is a great piece. So I feel like this is kind of almost like a next gen to of Astoria. I really love that, yeah. you know, the droplet look that's created exactly. with the metal work. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I love that. I just think it adds nice little intrigue, especially that bath vanity. I mean, hello, like, hello, gorgeous. Like, I love this. I think it's fabulous. And I think the finishes, again, you know, when you play with the polished nickel uh, and the aged brass and soft black, you can take them to different, uh, different places. 
Olivia Collection. So Olivia Collection is again, a line extension. Um, we have the sconce on, in the picture up in the top left-hand corner and the bottom right. We also had a, a smaller chandelier option. So now we have a 24 inch chandelier and a 35 inch chandelier. Very, very simple. Um, it's really, it's a little bit more edgy on the traditional um, chandelier shape. Um, again, mindful of the height you at 35 inches wide, your height of the fixture is only 29 inches. So I think that that's really important to take note of again, when you have a, a, a shorter ceiling height. Um, I just, I love the long metal arms. It's very, you know, mm -hmm. torch like you have beautiful Belgian linen shades that are stitched, not glued. You're going to, you know, they're not paper. Um, so, you know, again, the material is still of high quality, but we kind of simplified things. Um, when we were available, able to. And the good news is it is on the way. It's going to be here, looks like, within the next week or so. <laughs> so no yeah, worries there. March. That's crazy. <laughs> so Pippin. Pippin's a new introduction for us this year. So this has a cloth cord that runs through. It's almost like a baton uh, with bubble glass uh, that gives the fixture a subtle hint of color. So just a fun, uh, you know, starburst interpretation. I love just that texture, though, from that baton. You know, it, it, it just creates just a very nice, unique texture, uh, cleanly finished off, uh, you know, with, with the, uh, the accents. And I just think it's a great piece, a uh, fun piece. Uh, you see here we have the wall sconce, uh, the singular wall sconce. Looks like this guy's actually in stock, ready to go as well. So this is, this is um, a great piece to consider. Bailey collection, Bailey. So this is a traditional that traditional chandelier that we like to say gets a makeover. So we're playing with shapes, you know, you've got this nice, you know, elongated arms that then, you know, uh, straight now, you know, the nice curvature. Uh, I love the finished detail at the bottom there as well. Just a very clean, very modern silhouette. Um, again, available each brass, polished nickel, great piece in stock, ready to rock and roll at 990 IMAP cost. I think this is just a great solution for anyone looking for a very sleek, clean, modern chandelier. Yeah. And again, we're showing this with the G16 and a half. It's very purposeful. Mm -hmm. This fixture does not ship with the light bulbs. However, I think it's very interesting. If you were to put a, can a torpedo candelabra or a flame tip, it would definitely change mm -hmm. the look of this fixture. And you are free to do that um, if your customer is maybe not as modern um, but I, but I just love, you know, that we show it with G16 and a half instead of that traditional, um, flame yeah. then we have Ingrid over here. So, um, Ingrid is, uh, you know, it, it's literally globe lighting with a literal, literal twist. I mean, you can see the stems are literally twisted, um, aiming down. Um, they're kind of like, you know, bent gooseneck arms, um, I like the different size globes, very important to, to take a note of at that center fixture. You have a larger globe at the top and then a smaller ones on the second tier. Beautiful cluster in the center body available in aged brass and polished nickel, and then a, a beautiful wall sconce. Um, and we have this Stella, stuff. Stella. <laughs> so globe lighting that is truly global. So this is a great piece. It's literally a go anywhere frosted orb design. So you could put this, as you can see, they put it in a nice, you know, bedroom. You could put this over a dining room table. You know, I think it's just one of those pieces that's just eclectic enough that it really could go in a variety of applications. Uh, just a nice uh, modern look, aged brass, old bronze, polished nickel. Uh, I think, you know, it's just a nice, a nice piece that's in the offering and, and something that can really go anywhere. Yeah. Something to take note of too about, oh, I'm sorry, Kel, that this glass. So this glass is frosted on the inside, yet mm. high gloss on the outside. So this mm. is not a cheap piece of frosted yeah. glass. Um, it really has a richness to it. You can kind of see that in the install image. Uh, the glass is really taking the light, you know, from the outside window. It's just a beautiful, expensive mm -hmm. looking piece of glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, the, the fact that it looks expensive, you know. Great. And we have Kendra. I, I love Kendra. I'm I'm totally down for the wagon wheels. So we had another interpretation in Hudson. I love the, you know, gentle curvature, um, you know, the short little metal candle holders that fills the frame. Um, I, I just think the classic silhouette is getting an update and I, and I can't say enough about it, honestly. I mean, you have the big round chandelier at 42 and a quarter inch wide, then you have the long linear one at 44 and a smaller chandelier at 26 and three quarters. You get a lot of light output. It's very simple. Look at your price points. I mean, that linear fixture at 450 guys is, is an over yeah. the, the 42 and a quarter inch wide uh, round chandelier at $900 to your customer. It, it's beautifully done. It, mm -hmm. You know, I have no complaints with Kendra. It is amazing how just adding like a little bit of that curved suspension like takes yeah. it to a whole different area. Like it's it's amazing. That's that one detail. 
Alanis, Alanis collection. So this is a great interpretation. Uh, I love this sophisticated, you know, kind of cage pendant. Uh, I like the whimsical kind of unexpected loops that you've got going on in there. Uh, you know, we all see spheres, you know, there's lots of spheres out there, but I think this is just a very nice, delicate, light and airy option um, for someone who's looking for something with a little bit of whimsy. Uh, it does come in three different sizes available here. We've got a 28 inch, a 16 and a half, and then the 40 and three quarter. I'm sorry, 40 inch, uh, 40 and a half. Uh, so I think this is a great, uh, you know, just uh, option for someone who's looking for that spherical shape. But again, they want it to be there, but not overwhelming, you know, just a nice delicate with a little bit of whimsy. Darlene, oh, Darlene, it. Darlene, who doesn't love Darlene? It's just cute. I mean, you know, the detail, I mean, the fleur de lis, hello. Like it's just, it's, it's just so cute and unexpected and just a nice little touch and, you know, detail, almost like the cherry on top, uh, you know, that, that holds those shades into place, adds a little bit of fun flair, again, featuring our Belgian uh, stitch linen shades. And I think, you know, just a nice, uh, you know, petite sconce to consider, uh, you know, with that detail. Uh, I just think it's fun, it's fresh, it's youthful, and I think it will do well. I think it's a great piece. I agree. Mallory collection. So Mallory, you know, we're getting a lot of these gentle curvatures vibe that I'm just noticing from Mitzi. <laughs> um, so Mallory's another take on that lantern. Um, I love the beautiful linear one. If you notice mm -hmm. in the center body that it has two of those candlesticks really giving it depth, whereas mm -hmm. on the end of that linear, it is a single candlestick where it's a little bit more narrow. So from a different angle, depending mm -hmm. on where you're standing in the room, this will give a beautiful um, framework. Um, mm -hmm. You have the open arch metal frame. It's very stylish while again, no glass, which helps to keep the cost down. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. We have mm -hmm. a, a beautiful um, wall sconce there as well that almost looks like a, you know, a hanging lantern. Um, and then you have two um, smaller size pendants as well. Nico. Nico. <laughs> so like we saw in the perforated metal, um, large pendants are on the trend. They've been on the rise. You know, we're kind of, everybody's getting away from those small um, pendants over an island. So Nico is a line extension. We do now have a 17 and a half inch high by 12 inch wide glass. That is a um, lot of glass, people. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we, we, Nico was doing really well in the smaller size pendants, but you know, the big, the big ask are these larger pieces of glass over, over islands or over, um, you know, two bedside tables instead of a table lamp. Um, so now we have a larger glass. And the Iona collection, uh, this flush mount, this is beautiful. And I love silver-based bulbs. If you take a note, it is being shown in a, as a silver-based silver bulb. Um, it's really going to, you know, illuminate that glass back up onto the ceiling. And the focus of this flush mount really is that that shape of the glass is just there to shine mm -hmm. um, and stand alone. It is not your grandmother's mushroom shaped flush mm -hmm. mat. It is beautiful um, at 13 and three quarters. It's a perfect size. It's seven inches high and it's $198 to yeah. your customer. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> this one also does ship with the bulb because we are, like I said before, very purposeful on our bulbs mm -hmm. and the bulbs are very much a part of our fixture in a lot of mm -hmm. cases. So. Well, particularly with Mitzi too, right? I mean, Mitzi, yeah. you know, Mitzi's that line where they really will take the design in the direction of the bulb and it's such a large part of the overall design. So absolutely. Yeah, because if you were to skip, st stick a different bulb in there, it would totally mm -hmm. ruin the, you know, the overall mm -hmm. feel. Um, Karn, again, is a line extension as well. Like I said, the larger glass. So we have a, on the bottom right-hand corner, we have a 17 inch wide by 19 inch high, large glass pendant at only $450. We did have that in smaller, we had the smaller pendants before, and now we have a beautiful linear fixture with uh, three medium base bulbs. It is a very, you know, very nice size at 44 and a half inches or 44 inches long. Um, this is a great option for somebody who might want three pendants over an island, but they only have one electrical box. Um, mm -hmm. you, you know, you really get the feel of, of three mm -hmm. of those hanging pendants. And I just think, um, I think it's beautiful. I, love I really love that like metal faceted detail, you know, the, the fastenings yeah. there holding the glass. I think that's like such a cool like look. And I think the detail there is really what makes that piece stand out and different from, from its competitors. And that, and that glass too. I mean, that, that conical type glass. I mean, I think that's great. Oh, you know, I'm even noticing on the larger pendant, they now, you know, how they have two, um, two of those hardware details on the glass. They just, you know, mm -hmm. elevating it in size and everything is mm -hmm. really done properly. Yeah. 
So we've gone over, uh, you know, we haven't shown you everything. I mean, there's a lot of new introductions for Mitzi as well. So this is just kind of a little sampling of some of the other uh, new pieces that are out there. So we definitely urge you to check out Mitzi's uh, and Hudson Valley's websites to see the full and complete collections of, of Mitzi. But we just wanted to kind of give you a sampling of some of the new items today. Also one thing, oh, sorry, can mm -hmm. I go back a okay. second? Uh, one thing to note that I don't know if it's abundantly clear, um, but Hudson Valley is launching products really mm -hmm. as um, we get containers on the water. So keep an eye out. I know we're kind of all used to the launch of products around markets. Um, yeah. And with the pandemic in the last year, obviously not having markets has been, you know, different and we've adjusted. Um, so Hudson Valley is launch launching products, you know, throughout continuously throughout the year. So they're really yeah. urging people to use the website, um, try and stay as current, follow the social media platforms um, yeah. because there will be, you know, some more introductions that are trickling in um, throughout the year. And that's part of why, too, guys, we're glad you're joining us on these webinars, because we're doing our best to condense this information down for you. Because just like you, we're all in this together, you know, and we're trying our best to make sure that we bring you the latest and greatest of what's going on. But I think that's a great point, Jess. Like, just be be mindful that the way that launches have come out in the past, it's not the same anymore. We're definitely seeing a lot of these uh, differences in, um, you know, how they're going to market and, and how often we're seeing new pieces come out. So definitely stay fresh, stay up to date with the website and the social because, you know, you're going to see new things coming out, you know, um, every so often. So just real quickly, uh, we also have some new Troy pieces that came out, the Sutton collection. I think this is a stunning, uh, again, wagon wheel piece. You know, I love the gorgeous finish. Uh, we needed to introduce new larger sizes. So yeah. we have a singular and a double tier. And look at that champagne silver leaf finish. I mean, that is gorgeous. Uh, I instantly was like, oh my gosh, we have to show this. I mean, just a a stunning finish. And I love the double tier option as well. Again, a lot of fixture people, 52 and a quarter inches wide. And then we also have the 61 inch wide for the singular. Beautiful sizing. Too. Mm -hmm. um, Troy did um, introduce a few uh, other pieces as well. We have an Atticus wall sconce, which I love the really the cutout on that, on that metal, um, on that metal frame. Then we have a pendant, which is beautifully um, paired with a piece of glass that, you know, mimics that silhouette of the metal frame that I think is beautiful. Um, a Kai wall sconce, uh, which is currently in stock, and I've actually seen it on a couple of uh, installs already. Um, I just like the take on, you know, on that glass, you know, floating upward. You could also mm -hmm. probably, you know, hang that the other way too, now that I'm looking at it. Are you talking about the Kai? Yeah. Yeah, Kai can totally go up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we love that piece. I, I think, you know, our whole team, you know, not just Jessica and I, I mean, remember, we've got the whole team of guys with us and we were all like, you know, that's, that's a nice piece. And we, we all said the same thing. We're like, Ooh, hang that upside down. You know, that would, that would look cool. We definitely can. We did confirm that. Um, so yeah, that's a, it's a great piece. Great, great piece. And we have the Miller wall sconce over here. There's actually two sizes. We're showing you the extra long, um, at 54 inches high. Again, a lot of the, um, Troy and Corbett introductions over the last, you know, couple of months, we've really talked about that extra large sizing. So mm -hmm. go back to the website, take a look. Some of your favorites have now been made in, you know, an XL mm -hmm. or a double XL. Um, and this sconce is an example of it at 54 inches high. They also made a shorter one, but I just think, mm -hmm. you know, the tall one is, is, has yeah. enough, a lot of merit to show. Yeah. And then lastly, you know, don't forget Troy Lighting. You know, they they have we have such a strong suit with the exterior. And this particular collection, the Beckham, is one of our absolute favorites. I mean, this piece right here uh, featured in a stainless steel. It's the same stainless steel, guys, on your outside, outside gas grill. I mean, this is a durable piece. It's got a five-year warranty, but such an elegant, sophisticated piece. I love that application shot there on the left showing it. Uh, I just think this is such a, a stunning exterior piece and definitely not to be overlooked. So just remember when you're looking for exterior lighting for yeah. Hudson, anyone, you know, they have rolled all of our exterior into Troy. So don't forget to seek out Troy lighting for your exterior solutions. Absolutely. And, and again, also on this Corbett. <laughs> before, um, you know, we got, we brought in some of our favorites at extra large sizes. Um, signature in the bottom left-hand corner is a new piece that was introduced um, I want to say a couple of months ago, um, yeah. just beautifully organic, the gold leafing, that glass is, you can see how high gloss and how high quality that glass is. Mm -hmm. Um, just very organic. Just again, we didn't touch about Corbett, but there are some new introductions that you might have missed because we haven't had markets in a while. So we really yeah. need to go back to the website and take a look at what they have. Um, and offer. just remember to use Corbett lighting, you know, for someone who's looking for that real knock them out of the park statement piece. I mean, that's what Corbett's all about. They've got that high, high end luxury, large scale, you know, like like we said earlier, everything's going bigger. Just don't forget that you've got Corbett lighting in your pocket. Yeah. 
So like we were talking about Hudson Valley Lighting Group, we definitely urge you if you haven't already check out the website, they have been doing a good job of collecting everything under their new collections page. So you go to all products, go to new releases, it's going to ask you, do you want to see all new releases from all lines? Just click, click yes, you'll get a comprehensive listing of everything new that came out because obviously we don't have you guys all day and we hate to keep you any longer. So we, uh, we urge you to definitely check out the website and also their Instagram. I cannot tell you, you know, Instagram is the new way of networking. This is how we are all connecting now, uh, you know, seeing each other's projects, understanding, you know, unique application settings. It's such a great window into what's going on in the marketplace. So if you're not hip to Instagram yet, please do so. I highly recommend that you follow not just Hudson Valley, but Troy Lighting, Corbett, and Mitzi. And of course, last but not least, do not forget to follow us <laughs> at Richie Sales. Uh, we have our website and of course our social. Now, Jessica and I work very hard on our social platform. You'll actually see some fun posts today talking about the webinar. So we definitely urge you to check us out and please give us a like, a thumbs up, a follow. Jessica and I would love to hear from you and definitely please submit your projects. We're always urging, you know, our, our, our partners to send us their work. We would love to elevate your brand because at the end of the day, we're all here to elevate our own businesses and brands. So we're here to support you just like you guys support us. So please connect with us. We'd love to chat with you. So oh. that's it, folks. Um, I'm going to hit the end scre uh, share screen here. And that way, if anybody would like to unmute, do I need to unmute? Let's say if anybody's got any questions or wants to stick around and hang out with us, I mean, feel free. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, Appreciate you. Guys. And um, keep any an questions? Out. Next yeah. Wednesday um, will be our Maxim EC2 webinar. Again, same same thing. Uh, we have one at 10 a.m. and one at 2 p.m. That'll be next Wednesday. Keep an eye out for that um, e-blast to go out to you as well. Also, guys, talk to your Richie sales rep. Um, we want to hear what you want to hear. You know, do you want portal trainings? Do you want new products? Do you want to talk about, you know, large foyer fixtures? We want to hear what you want. We're here to, you know, to create the bridge this gap between this new normal. Um, and I know that, you know, a lot of Zoom things can be about stuff that you're not interested in. Um, but really, we want to we want to be one on one with you. If you want to do a private thing for just your team, you know, Kelly and I are, and your Richie sales rep is here to do it. We can have, you know, an open, you know, just communication forum. Um, please, I really urge you. We want to we want you to get the best out of this. Um, so let us know what else we can talk about, you know, and other topics that you're interested in. So if anyone has any questions, you know, feel free to unmute yourself uh, and we are here. And if not, you can definitely follow up with us uh, via email, text, smoke signal, whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll be sending out um, a follow up. We did record this webinar today. So keep yes. an eye out for it. Um, you can send this along to other people. Um, you let us know. We're really here to help you guys. So thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll, we hope to see you next Wednesday. All right, guys. I think that's it. I don't really see anything else. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys.